go. It has been an interesting week. I had my first like farmer sales, uh, farmer's market sales uh, bonsai uh, exhibition type of thing. And I sold like, I sold six trees and I, it's got me super motivated to continue to work. Uh, the channel's been doing very well, so thank you everyone for showing up and, you know, hopefully enjoying the videos. Uh, <laughs> today we're going to be working on this lovely bonga villa. I was taking a look at it in the garden the other day, and this nice dead feature in the center, it's, it's all black and tarred up. Um, I think I can improve it a little bit. I, I'm going to be using the Dremel uh, to deepen it a little bit and maybe extending it a little bit because around the edge here at the top it looks like there was like a bug or some sort of worm or lizard that was eating at it so there's like a, a weird pattern there so i'm gonna drill into that smooth it out there and just make it a little bit more uh interesting So I've extended it a little bit further downward uh, just to give it a nice little point at the bottom so that it, when it rains, the water could just flow out very easily. I've added um, scarring in, in depth inward. Um, so there's like lines you can follow, some are deeper, some are more narrow, uh, some curve. And then I drilled on the top uh, into where the part that looked like some bug or some creature was eating at it. And now I'm gonna extend it a little bit further up to the, there's a little hole up here of the wire and then that's where I'm gonna end it so this the whole tree has a sort of a dead feature straight throughout and that that's all I'm gonna do for it I have lime sulfur coming in the mail it still hasn't arrived and then I'm gonna paint it through and then I think later on you'll be able to see it um, the little um, channels that I've uh, I've carved into it so it's gonna look super neat and it's definitely gonna give the tree a lot more character um, plus I mean it was a dead feature already naturally there so it's not like I'm doing anything extra to the tree it's more of just i'm uh what's it called i am improving what it already had naturally so let's uh let's follow it straight up to the top and then we'll see how it turns out Well, you know, sometimes it doesn't have to be a huge transformation. Sometimes it just takes a little extra flair on a feature the tree already has, and you can take the tree to a next level. Now, it's only gonna look better once I put the lime sulfur on it, and then I will uh, let it just start aging. I mean, it's only gonna look better as it weathers out and start looking a little bit more natural. On the top, it definitely needs to do that. Down this center part, it's gonna look really nice. It feels really nice too. There's like some nice depth to it. And of course, this tree needs to develop a lot more. I only have one of the branches wired up for now. I kind of want to see which direction these guys come out and uh, then I'm gonna figure out you know, the proper design for it. I'm thinking, uh, I usually, well, let's say the front, I guess would somewhat be something like something like this that would be the front which is one of the reasons why I have this arm pulling to the right down here because what I want to do is I want to continue to grow this out and I want to fold it over over this that's why I tilt it further back this will go to the back so there's some depth of field and then these branches will lean over this way so that it maybe later on I will even tilt this further down while the canopy comes over this way. But that's why I only have one of them wired and not the others. But the focus of today was just to improve this dead feature and I think we did just that. So we're gonna put this one aside. I'll catch you guys on the next one.